Hello everyone. Um, I want to show you a couple of things I've showed before, but I can't stress uh, how much easier things will be if uh, you will do some of this uh, that I'm suggesting to make it easier <coughs> to save a file. The first thing uh, I want you to think about is where are some of the places that you tend to go frequently uh, for looking at files and if you're a court reporter <coughs> you are going to go to your folder where you store your court reporting files and in my case I'm going to click over here where my mouse is and you'll see I've got a shortcut here to a folder called Breck Eclipse. I can jump there quickly now where this comes in really handy is a place that I will show you here in just a second. Another place where I frequently go to is a folder called My Scans. And I scan documents or when I convert any of my court reporting files to a PDF or stuff like that, they go into My Scans. And I'm going to double click there and you'll see that it takes me there quickly. Now, how, why is this important? Well, first of all, what you want to do is you want to get these shortcuts on your desktop. So let's look at how we would do that. For instance, I've got Brack Eclipse. At one point, I went down to my uh, Windows Explorer. <coughs> I clicked there, and then I went to Documents and then I went to Eclipse and then I went to Breck and here are my files so if you put your mouse right up here click one time into that window that will turn a different color you can right click right there and click on copy <coughs> now Let's just close that window for a second. Let's go back here to our desktop. And you can see I've got the shortcut here, but let me make another one. Put your mouse anywhere on the screen, not on another icon or anything like that, just in the center. Right click on your screen, and then you'll see New down here at the, towards the bottom. When you go there, it opens up another window. And you can click on Shortcut. Now at this point, there's a couple of ways you can create a shortcut. Since I was over in my Breck directory a while ago that you saw, I've already got that path saved, if you remember. So when I go back here to shortcut, all I have to do is right click and hit paste. Or you could hit control V if you remember the control C for copy, control V for paste. And here's my path that I want to use. Now it drops in some other paths, but I want to use that path right there because that's the folder I went to. Then I'm going to click on Next. I can call it whatever I want to call it. Let's call it Breck Example. Click on Finish. Now here's Breck Example. And let's see where it takes us. <coughs> takes me to my Breck Eclipse directory. Let's close that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go here to Breck Eclipse. Same directory. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Tickle in my throat. Hang on one second. Okay. So you can see here <coughs> that I've got a shortcut to my Brack Eclipse. I did the same thing for my scans. Let's go here and close out <coughs> this directory. <coughs> Sorry. So I've got that cleared out. At one point I did the same thing for my scans. And you can see here I've got all these things under my scans. And at one point I was in that folder and I clicked up there I saved it, went back to my desktop, 
and I made a shortcut called my scans. <coughs> <coughs> now this is where it gets very helpful. I get an email from an attorney or maybe you get an email from your scopist and you have an attachment. Now I want to save that attachment. So I'm going to right click on the attachment save as. <coughs> now here it's in a directory right now going into documents. <coughs> well, I don't want to do that. I want to put it into my scans. Now you know it could have been say for instance over here in say videos and it could be anywhere that it was trying to save the folder to depending on what you had saved last. And so there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can panic and forget where everything is. You can remember where the path is under say documents and then here's my scans. <coughs> That's an easy way to do it. Or if it's over here say buried under videos or something and you want to find a quick way to get to your my scans as you can see where the mouse is on the right side of the screen you can get here quickly by going up to your desktop under favorites and you can see here is a shortcut for my scans in the desktop now let me expand this and you can see how much there is in here under my desktop I've got some shortcuts and my scans is one of them so if I click there it'll take me to that folder where I want to quickly put something. I don't have to sit here and go through a long path of uh, searching for something. Now let's say for instance that this instead of being a PDF was for instance maybe a Eclipse file or a Case Catalyst file or something and you wanted to put it into your directory where your court files are. Save as. Go up here again to your desktop and I use Eclipse and so I can double click right there and quickly I'm able to put that file <coughs> where my court reporting files reside. Now since it's a PDF file it's showing all of the PDF files that happen to be in that folder. That's okay. But if it was uh, an ECL file is how we name our files that we edit it would drop in here and I'd have a quick shortcut to my path instead of having to go through for instance say it was defaulting here initially I'd have to go to my documents and then find let's see where is Eclipse at and I gotta scroll down here oh here it is right here and then let's see here let's, there's Brack and there we go so you can see by making these shortcuts here you can then get to them quickly by going to desktop and clicking on the shortcut that you may be using uh, or want to put a file into without having to go through a long path of trying to find something. So I hope that helps uh, give you some insight of why <coughs> these shortcuts here on the desktop are kinda cool to have because once you start downloading files that you need going to the desktop and clicking on that shortcut can sometimes be much quicker and save you a lot of trouble uh, than having to go through you know you could do it even the longer way <coughs> local disk users and your name and then my documents or wherever you're trying to go documents my scans if you want to go there my documents I mean you can make this just be very frustrating when you don't know where things are at when all you need to do is drop in a shortcut over here on your desktop to quickly and easily save you uh, a lot of uh, stress and, and uh, frustration and I hope that helps give you uh, an idea of uh, <coughs> why you might want to do that so with that I will close thanks <coughs>